I joined my father, only lowly dealers went to Sotheby's or Christie's or auction galleries. It was not socially acceptable for the average person, certainly not a lady, to go to an uh, auction. You just didn't. It was frowned upon. And But the auction houses were smart. They decided that they could make it a social event. And they started serving wine and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> we have better cheese. <laughs> they don't have kale corn. So little by little, we saw that they were having fancy catalogs. They were having cocktail parties. They were having speakers. And all of a sudden, we saw ladies coming. And we saw their husbands being dragged in. And it became a social event. And yeah, and pretty soon the dealers who, we were the lowly ones who would go to auctions and buy stuff that we needed inventory. Well, pretty soon people said, well, if Zeke Liveron is over there, bidding, why can't I bid against him? And uh, so pretty soon the auction houses became socially acceptable. And then it spread throughout the land, it spread throughout the country, there's bombings in California, and you know, there was all these different auction galleries sprouting like mushrooms all across the country. And it fed enthusiasm. That's one of the things that we're losing a little bit right now, because the auction houses are not quite out there as much. They're out there promoting contemporary art. That's what you see all the time. But that's where they're making the big money, because the young people who are in the hedge funds and Wall Street are buying a lot of contemporary art. Uh, and so that was a little bit of how the history of auctions became what it is today. Uh, and um, so today, when you go to Southern or Christie's or Skinner's or Northeast Auction or anywhere, uh, wrestlers in Washington, you will see people from all stages of life um, competing with each other. And to some people, it's sport. You know, if they can recognize Kevin, and he, they know that he represents Nathan Liveron, so they say, oh, I know that beard, and uh, so I can get against him. And so that is really how it's sort of, now it's a competitive market between the retail, the wholesale, dealers, Auctioneers, everybody is in the game together. When did that change happen? When did that change happen? So as I said, I started 48 years ago, 1971. And I would say within the first 10 years, um, I would go with my father to various auctions. And it was really just, for the most part, dealers. You know, we were, we were colleagues, you know, competitors. And we all get along for the most part. They know what we like. We know what they liked. And uh, so I think it started becoming more socially acceptable about probably 40 years ago, 35 years ago. And now it's a big event. You know, you, it's, to, you, it's a disgusting cocktail party. Oh, I went to Christie's last week. Oh, really? What did you see? Did you buy something? I mean, it's like, you know, it's a, it's a big deal. You can brag about it. 